All right, gamers, welcome to my Talon gameplay video, where we are going to be starting off with a Talon mid game. Although we're going to be play, going to be playing both mid and jungle throughout this video, at least one jungle game as well. Going to be starting the game, the video off against Vagar, which should be an easiest matchup. I don't know how much kill potential I'll have on him. We're running TP just so we can scale up effectively. Seems to be a popular thing to do on Talon mid these days. So might find it hard to actually get some solo kills on Vagar later on once his cage starts to get a low cooldown. At the moment we just focus on trying to get lost sets and just harassing with W a little bit as much as we can. About to level 2 so we, we can try and see if we can just cheese something here. Yeah, just a little bit of damage. Not bad. Try and get into position to land W again. There we go, so we've reset the passive and boom, he did not respect that and he dies. Why, uh, when you got like two passive stacks on you, or if even just one, uh, it, and you're facing Talon, it is quite important to just make sure that you stay out of Talon's range and make sure that resets. Otherwise, he can get his passive off on you without even needing to land like a full combo. I didn't need to land both sides of my W there. I just needed to land W once, then Q once, then W again, then Q again. You don't want to let that happen. This guy is actually going to zone me from the cannon. What a... Pathetic, man. Oh, actually, I'm gonna get the cannon anyway. Nice. Got it. Nice one. We're gonna be doing a full assassin build, so no Revenant's Hydra Rush. Which means, to have enough wave clear, we're just gonna use Men and Demeteralizer. It means that no matter how far behind we might fall, or how little gold we've spent, we should be able to always kill the costers at level 9. What the hell was that, W? I guess checking for vision in that brush. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and base now. Okay, we shouldn't really need to TP into lane here since it's kind of wave. He's not going to be able to shove this in time. We can save TP for sometime in the future. I'm just going to use all my Demetralizers on the Calsters because I'm not entirely sure if you can get away with using only one. <coughs> Okay, well, we see Kha'Zix's bot side. If we roam bot here, we can maybe set up a 4v2 four, four dive here. We even know the enemy jungler isn't around, so... Alright, we would need Kha'Zix to drop this camp. I don't think it's gonna happen, sadly. Yeah, no. Maybe we can just flank them, though. No, I don't think anything's gonna happen here, sad. Oh, well. We just waste a lot of time on that. Maybe lost... Two to three CS, so far only two. Could be worse. Yeah, only two CS. Four v two dives are maybe a little bit ambitious to try and coordinate with Lilo teammates, but it's felt like a beautiful setup. I may as well just see if I can make it work. I mean, half the Half the tough part is actually getting your jungler to be bots out at the same time as you, and it was already there, so. Okay, that's my first ward place to the game. Beautiful macro. An enemy has been slain. Nice, he does my first W, but then go ahead by the second one, which is the one that does the most damage. Might be able to kill Vagar here. 
No. Uh, he's definitely dead here. It's a question of do I also die? Now nah, we're fine. Barely. So if if the I'm actually surprised I didn't get hit by that turret shot. If I had been hit by the turret shot, which I was actually expecting to happen, and he'd used ult, I would have died. He needed to use ult there though. Even if I got hit by the last turret shot, it doesn't matter if he doesn't ult there, so. Really played by him. I'm not gonna bother pushing this plating, because if I get ganked by Udir from here, I don't really have the walls to escape to the left very effectively. So we'll just leave it. I'm gonna be very set aside just with just having a massive CS lead and two kills right now. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and rush the Yomus. Should be the best roaming mythic for Talon mid. I think any of the three lethality mythics are fine for Talon mid, but it's just the most popular and just the one that uh, people find fits its playstyle most effectively. So you can definitely roam without it as well. <clears throat> Okay, wow, we're actually killing. Cost is a level 7. That is something I hadn't considered. That is actually really good for roaming. Oh, hello. That's fine. Ow, he had vision there. Oh, god, wait, I'm actually... I didn't consider that. Should be dead here. No way. Wow, I actually shouldn't have been able to get a kill there, but I'll take it. There, I just needed to... Well... He could have ulted sooner. I don't know if I actually would have died sooner, though. To be fair. Yeah, I suppose it didn't make a huge difference. Maybe it would have saved Udyr. Maybe. <clears throat> Hello, Yasuo. Still haven't had a need for TP. I think, uh, like it's... Oop. Actually, we'll just go top. It's definitely, like, not what I would recommend for, like, smurfing on Talon TP. It's more for, like, when you're finding lanes tough. But, uh, also just want to set a good example for people who, you know, aren't smurfing and still want to learn from these videos. Should be able to get a plating here. Okay, but I want to leave now. I don't know why he also is insistent on swapping lanes. Maybe I can just gank Vagar, I guess. I should uh, swap my yellow trinket to our red one, by the way. Can he please leave? There's nowhere to hide. This is so bizarre. I guess he just really doesn't want to lane against Trindamir, but he hasn't said anything about it. Oh, hello. Nice. Be able to get a kill on Zara here, I hope. Or anybody here, really. Hmm. Damn. Okay, we're just gonna leave now. Yeah, without heal, a little bit of follow up from Atima sort of meant that was a kill, but with heal, yeah, no chance of actually getting a kill there. At least I blow the thingy though. Uh, let's get... Just gonna spend this space real fast. Do I need to TP here, actually? I thought that wave might be getting shoved under turret here, but I guess not. I could just TP bot. Here we go. Gonna lose so much HP while we're doing this, but it's fine. There we go. 
Alright, nice. Beautiful outcome for a TP there. Free double kill. That was the first TP of the game. Another great thing about the TP is that it's going to enable us to have a great split push late game. And be on the opposite side of the map of Baron. Don't want to bother clearing that pink, I just want to get the mid and miss minimal farm. Uh, nice, we're actually going also to go back top somehow. <laughs> Alright, best second item here, probably going to be... Actually, Mark, just so we can have the minimal, like, uh, lowest possible ult cooldown. Uh, this is going to be pretty important because Talon laning is much more reliant on his ultimate compared to Talon jungle. Because, um, it, like, you, like a, a lot, obviously a lot of the time when you're trying to farm, you're contesting enemy laners for it, or any enemy champions in general. And Talon is quite vulnerable without his ultimate, and weak in 1v1s without his ult. Was Talon jungle obviously just gets to chill in his jungle, not fighting anybody. And can just wait until his ult is up before he goes out of his way to fight. We're gonna go back bot here. Sorry, Kha'Zix, maybe I should have left that for you. I could jump that wall anyway. Dead. Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh, that was... My bad. <laughs> Wait, that was meant to be QR... And then my R would activate off of my... Like, onto Zyra off of my Q, but I guess I ulted after my Q landed? Weird. Never had that before. Maybe it's a new thing. Anyway, I'm very strong right now. We only got 41 ability haste. And it's going to be increased even further by the ghost blade thing. We can try and go bot again. Obviously, now I'm here. Ooh, nice one. Got him. We'll leave the rest of this farm for Zara. We'll just go mid where I also have no farm. Thank you, Yasuo. Never mind, we'll stay bottom and get this turret. Nice. Actually, oh no, it's far too late for this, God damn it! I'm actually gonna die here, 100%. Oh, my W! Didn't even spawn from the direction I thought it would. I, I, I guess I live, I'm just too fast. <laughs> Forgot about the home guards from TP. Oh my lord. You're kidding me, he just crewed me like that. Fuck, I should have waited a bit longer though, but yeah, that crit was a bit unlucky. How big was that crit? I mean, obviously not too unlucky since he does get a lot of crit natively, but damn. It was also unlucky timing for Yasuo to choose that exact moment to EOA, which I didn't even expect him like to be able to do. I didn't notice the golem. So I wasn't expecting to suddenly be Trinimer's only possible focus there. <laughs> yep. He is out, but as I eat in very unfortunate timing. And I crit did 279 damage. Well, I had, yeah, nowhere near that much. Oopsie daisy. All right, we'll get Edge of Night next.
Where the hell is she? No way. What? No, oh, I don't mean to hit this. Okay, he's dead to that. And she's dead to this. Nice one. Come on. Got it. We can go straight back bot, I guess. Get some farm that I don't have to fight for with my teammates over. Pushing mid would also have been fine though, just to help my team get some turrets. Now that Talon is terribly effective, effective at sieging though. Wait, what? Oh god. Uh, I, I, did I even see Zaro at all? God damn it. I was expecting to be able to get onto Kaisa for free there. Let's see. I only see Kaisa, Vagar, presumably Udyr. Yeah, I'm only seeing Kaisa and Udyr there. That's crazy. Where did Zaro come from? That was so unexpected. I'm stunned by Udyr as well. So I couldn't even ult immediately. Blows. Very unlucky there, actually. It's kind of like, it's so crazy. I never saw Zyra. Just never appeared on the map there. Alright, we can sell the refillable at this stage. It's worth it just to get some extra lethality as well. Next item can be Prowler's Claw, which also would have been fine third item. Never actually tried it, honestly, the new one. Gonna be excited to see that. Actually, I tried it once on Ezreal, but didn't feel amazing on him. Can I get the red buff? Nah, I just got it. That's fine. Kaisa. Alright, I can't jump this wall. Okay, now I can. Dead. Right? Ooh. It's fine. Nice one. Man, I really want to see how much damage I'd be dealing with Prowler's Claw though before this game ends. Hopefully we don't end too soon. Come on. Ah, damn it. I have to leave right now. Was my ultimate up the whole time? I assume it only just came up. Alright, two and hips versus potentially one from Trinomir. Not bad. But let's see if I can even save that. Okay, nice. They won't survive. Only fools pledge life to honor. Uh, maybe going for Zaro was a bit hasty here. No way. Oh my god, okay. I really want to check what damage Prowler's Claw does now. Let me see. It was 85 plus 45%. What is 5% of my AD? Oh, the FF. Let me check. 205 total damage. Not bad. On a fairly local then, I believe. Could be good. Could be good. GG.
All right, gamers, welcome to, today, to today's video where we are going to be playing Talon. Uh, actually, I wanted to play him on mid lane, but I got jungle. Whatever, that's fine. I don't mind playing him in either role. We'll play him in both roles probably in this video. Uh, little known fact the most of you probably don't know. I actually used to be a Talon one trick. That's actually even how this YouTube channel started out. I just used it to post random clips of my Talon gameplay, some full gameplay videos for people who wanted to see how to play them back in those days when there weren't as many resources to learn the game. Yeah. That was before his rework, obviously, in 2015. Before he was known as a PDF file champion. But I still find him fun. I haven't actually uh, had much time to play him this year since... Started doing these long ass videos on my main channel here, but I was like, you know what? Just feel like playing some Talon. So let's do it. God, I actually have some of this muscle memory from this clear still embedded in my soul. Okay, probably not gonna look for an early game gank or. Or uh, on that Yoni. Could try and go for a gank on Mazahar. Fuck it, let's do it. I have Ignite on the wrong key. Got him. Ah, wait, it went the Zig, so well, hang on. Let's uh, help him shove this wave. Those helps just get me some extra XP to get me ahead as well. Boom. I won't stick around for all of them though. Just want to make sure you get the shove then and I get the XP from the melees, which are the ones that give the most XP anyway. Taking for the XP from the castles as well would just be really greedy. When the time inefficient. I'm not that desperate to tax all of his XP. Probably should have started with the blue there, but it's alright. I'm not gonna get invaded by Nico, I don't expect. Currently she is bot and... Oh wait, oh that's not Nico jungle, my bad. Especially Mundo. Okay, Mundo would definitely also not invade me. I'm pretty sure his clear is really bad. At least if it's as bad as it used to be before his rework. Alright, so we're just gonna... I've not really kept up the date with Talon Bills. I had a brief look on stat site to see what's currently used. Looks like Bruiser Talon Bills are currently viable, so I'm just gonna use my old favorite one, which was Ravenous Hydro Rush. Always did uh, two points in W and then full max Q with that. That felt really nice. Probably should have placed another trinket us uh, somewhere else, but I will. <clears throat> yeah, we like to start on raptors instead of actually starting on a buff, so nobody has to leash for us, nobody is penalizing their own lane. And also, it just completely hides from the enemies where I actually started, and they have no information about where I might choose to gank. Uh, wait, obviously that red buff is not up, whoops. Didn't mean to miss out on those, my bad. Hello. I'm gonna smite that. Should be able to kill him here. Nope. Meant to do that as a long Q. Okay, we get him. Oh, that guy's level 6. No. Oh. Damn it. <laughs> My bad. Uh, yeah, I was. I had only just a level 5 from killing Mundo there, so I didn't expect to get ulted by a guy who I'd already killed previously. Not bad. Still not too bad, though. He's the only person on the map who's level 6 as well. That doesn't even make sense. Like, Kill is not 6, Yone is not 6, Ziggs is not 6. That's crazy. 
He's the one person I went out of my out of my way to make sure he was falling behind and what? And he's still level six before anybody else. Oh hello. Uh, so that's what they were pinging me about. We'll catch him. Got him. Can we check his raptors? They are indeed up. Come on. Shouldn't try and do this, actually. So annoying. He's costing himself farm as much as he's costing me farm. Nah, can't. Sad. We'll just continue clearing. What? Nah, no, it's gotta be Nico, right? Yeah. Oh, but it's so annoying. <laughs> Guess we'll just go to red buff. My red buff. Probably look to base very soon. Well, actually, I'm, I can probably just hold out until I'm gonna side or until time out. Sorry. I was supposed to gank when ganking him. Every time I look, he's suddenly off screen, so I can't see his HP. That's so annoying. I'm just gonna assume it's not gankable. Especially, like, given my HP, it would just be very risky. It would have to be very low. What? I swear those used to uh, chase you for a little bit longer. <laughs> Can maybe check this Goto Crab? Got it. Oh wait, no I don't. There we go. Now nah, we got it. I guess the ground for him. I just reset my Conqueror with Ignite and it also keeps vision of him in the brush, but it doesn't matter because he can't reach. That sucks. Oh, hello. My bad. Oh, so close. If I just land my, landed my auto on him, he would have been dead. Damn, I'm getting cheese really hard here. What was he doing in the brush? I guess he came from base, because he was missing for a while. But yeah, that sucks. If only I had boots, would have been a free kill mundo. Now that we have time out, we're just going to start putting points in Q instead of W. The whole point of W, for usually for Talon, whether you're playing lane or jungle, you know, putting points in it, I mean, the whole point of it is to have better wave clear and have better jungle clear. But when you have time out slash Ravenous Hydra, especially Ravenous Hydra, um, you just have plenty, even without any, any extra points in W. In fact, even just one point in W would be enough to just, it, like, completely AoE every camp down. Or AoE every wave down, so it just doesn't become as important anymore, and you can just start putting points in Q. Which, uh, doesn't actually do more damage, necessarily, with just one hit. But it does dramatically reduce the cooldown, so you're more likely to land more hits. Which does definitely deal more damage. Well, will just skip the wolf camp for now and just get this wave. Oh. Cool. Nice. So we're going up for a Ravenous side draw already. I could have actually, since my Raptors are down, I could have actually just based directly after Wolves. Because I'm walking a very long distance just to farm Golems, although Raptors are actually spawning, so... Still got something. Besides just the Golems. I guess that's actually kind of low. I can actually just try and go for a Mazahar here, though. Boom. Just 
pissing on my will is a little bit. Landing some damage and then going at the stealth, then landing the rest of the damage. Alright, now I just want a base. I'm assuming you definitely want to still go Ionian Santalon jungle. Yep. As always, his best boots. The lower your cooldowns, the faster you're clear. Also, very important to keep your ultimate cooldown as low as possible. I think I can just try rushing this. My bot lane is Paro anyway, so I'm not gonna get collapsed on by their bot lane. At most, um, maybe Mundo. Oop. Try and help her. Nice. Okay. We won't overchase there. Or will we? We will. Oh, come on. My bad. I missed my W, I think. Jane will shove this in very slowly. Nice one. That's good. I'm just gonna check their jungle, then I'm gonna do the Drake again. Start the Drake again. We meet again, red buff. No Mozart are hard to save you this time. I will also check his raptors. If I can steal his, like all of his jungle, that's gonna be really nice to set him behind. Ah, whatever. There's not much up, actually. Yeah, let's get this. And of course, the income bound mobility from reducing your Q cooldown by maxing Q sooner. Also, really good in certain fights. Dramatic when Chris is your stick in power. You can see, well, like, even if I don't get a second W cast here, the casters all die. Uh, somebody took my red buff, that was probably Yone. I oh, know it was Mundo. Oh, let me ult here. And now I need to ult out the other way. Fuck. No, oh, damn, maybe with enough for that. Drink it, I might have been able to kill him. You got a heads up that I wasn't actually trying to escape there. So we'll go for Black Cleaver now. Either Black Cleaver or maybe Dust Blade could be good. What do people typically do here? When they do Raven Decider these days. Typically Dust Blade, it seems. We'll do Dust Blade actually. There has been a lethality item rework as well since the last time I played Talon. Okay, I'm on my way. I've got ult. One of those is Nico. Oh, come on. Cool. Remember, I didn't have to back out so soon, actually. We get Mundo here as well, though. Or oh, actually, do we? That's in this W. Come on. There we go. I think we make it out, just barely. Not even close. Got him. Holy crap, that was a close one. Uh, this guy really wants me. 
Nice, not even close. Uh, I'm just gonna take this bolt in with because um, Jin gets it. Like, thing about Jin going bolt in here is it, it's gonna take him a while and he's gonna lose a lot of farm. It's much more efficient if somebody who's already near this lane farms this lane instead of Jin. So that's my excuse for taxing my ADC's farm. What the? You're kidding me? Ugh. Okay, at least she dies. What the? Heck? I did not count those minions. That's so annoying. Let me see. What was that extra minion? Yep, that's clearly... <laughs> There's clearly a random melee in those casters. Whoops. Came after the entire rest of the wave as well. It's so weird how you just don't question that shit. You would think you would, but... Just doesn't set any red flags in my head. Not unless I'm really concentrating on it. This one. We can probably call Mundo here. Let's go for the wave first. Ow. Come on. Ugh. Never mind. He gets away, my bad. I messed up my Q. I meant to do a ranged one. What the hell? It's gonna be Mazahar. Ugh, my kid didn't connect. This sucks. I'm actually dead no matter what. And with no chance of killing him either. Ah, uh, I meant for my Q to at least mark him so I could at the very least try to one for one. I didn't realize he would just cancel my Q entirely if he ulted me. Sucks. So I guess what I needed to do then instead was wait for my W to come up while I'm chasing him and just keep my distance a little bit so he couldn't just ult me. Then I W and then maybe ult. I don't know. It was a hard one though. Killed me very fast. Alright, we need to rotate back to the same area where I just died for the Drake. Nice. Where the hell was Mazahar? Nice one. I'll leave that up. Hopefully that actually pushes towards my ADC. Or, well, towards us in general. Next up is for sure going to be Black Lever. Right now our clear gets really satisfyingly good. Okay, that's gone. Oh my, I meant fault. Damn it. Hang on. Ah, I lose so much HP for that. Hopefully I escape here. I just need to run the opposite direction of Mundo. Alright, nice. Yeah, I needed to ult faster there. If I could have chunked him out. I actually, I definitely could have one-shot him before he could even land ult on me. Even if he managed to land the ult on me, he should have been bleeding to my passive and then died. So I keep not playing this perfectly against the Mazahar. I'm on a, very much on a timer to like... At the very least, land certain abilities before I get ulted by him. So I think there, what I should have done was auto attack Q auto and then ult immediately. Don't know what I ended up doing instead. Really? 
and look at Tommy. Can we maybe get Mundo here? We'll avoid using E, so we can use it as an escape if necessary. Ah, didn't land that on him. Oh, that's not my ADC. Nice one. God damn it. Uh, I'm up in trouble here. No, we're good. It's just that's some trouble. Sorry, buddy. Gotta love the sustain from having the side with us so you don't actually have the base. So you can actually afford your item. It's only 2400 gold. I have a decent base up a base right now, but I may as well just wait. Oh my, oh my god, he went so far away. What the fuck? Perfect. So we play it slow. We land, what was that? WQ auto, then R. I can't remember now. Or was, it, or was it just W, auto, R, whatever. We just set up the passive, then ult, and just buy time for Key to come back up so we can... I think I think what we did was kill him twice, right? I find it hard to remember what combos I did until, like, after I've done them. Alright, we can base now. I'm actually massive when you compare me to Mundo. Come on, what the hell? That was red. Why do they never have this worded? Nice, alright, that should be... Just a free Baron, honestly. We can go straight to Baron. I'm gonna smite up. They'll, they'll maybe get the Drake, but it shouldn't matter too much. They might not even, they're not even guaranteed to get it either. This Mundo might do it pretty slowly, we'll see. We know nobody's contesting, so we'll save Smite and rush straight to the Drake now. Maybe we get that. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's definitely not going to be possible for Mundo to take that in time. Goodbye, Mundo. Oh, he's actually still here. This one. Well, that's fine. <laughs> that was nice. I like that. Those blade interaction on Talon. Wonder if he, uh, I wonder if he's flaming me or raising me. I can never tell if he's not going to type. I'm used to getting flamed a lot when I play Talon Jungle for some reason. <laughs> Nothing for you. Should be able to win the sustained fight because of my Conqueror, yeah. Looks bad at the start, but we know we just scale in the fight because of Conqueror. I'd rather just kill him than 
folks on the ground up there. Definitely miss how much sustain you used to get from the Ramus Hydra back when it actually worked on your Q though. That was a ridiculous amount of sustain you used to get. Actually, I shouldn't. I need to keep pushing here. My team is pressuring bot. I need to pressure top if I'm not going to be bot myself. Nice one. My passive twice there. This is why we like City Aren't Talon. Still not really enough people responding to me, so we keep pushing top. I don't think I quite have the burst to kill him if I commit ult, but now I can. Uh, well, actually, not if I can't thought of him. It's not gonna work, is it? No way. Okay. <laughs> well, if kills help, we kill him. Okay. I think I'm just gonna ignore the wolves that are about to spawn and just recall I've got plenty of gold. It would be very greedy to stick around continuing farming, even if it's enemy camps. And I can just already spend my gold. We'll get Rulda's right now. And I guess... Uh, hmm, what do we want now? Could already finish on Rogue Glaive. Jay should also be good though. Fuck okay, it, we'll just finish on Rogue Glaive just because it's the one thing I can afford right now. We could always sell it later on if necessary. Sixty-three percent ability haste. God damn! That is why Dustblade is my favorite mythic on Talon. Used to be at least. I'm assuming it still is. Oh. You can kill Yoni. Easy. Alright, I'm just gonna go straight to the fight. I don't think I need a tool this early, but whatever. No, 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 give me out. Give me out. We're good, we're good. We're just far too thank you. Oh, Bruiser Talon Jungle, how I missed you. Nah, I'm gonna die here. Where am I? <laughs> All right, GG. All right, gamers, we are back for another game of Talon mid. This game, we're going to be playing Talon into Rise. And for runes, we're going to be running First Strike, Magical Full Wear, Minute Dematerializer, Cosmic Insight, Taste of Blood, and the Treasure Hunter. This is probably actually, I imagine, the best split page if you're going to be doing Assassin Talon on mid. Um, definitely First Strike, for sure. And then either, well, the most common thing is sorcery secondary with um, just stacking AD with absolute focus and gathering storm. Uh, the highest win rate page, though, is this with Taste of Blood and Treasure Hunter, which definitely makes your trading better and also allows you to scale up a little bit faster with the Treasure Hunter. And that just also just sounds better to me in general. So that's the page we're going to run this game.
Actually, I should probably save my W for actually just lost hitting. Not so much for trying to harass Rise with just one hit. But if I do last hit with my W, then I also want to try and walk up and try and get it to hit Rise as well. I'm going to put another point to W here because I'm not expecting to get ganked anytime soon. So we may as well get a little bit stronger last hitting. And a little bit stronger harass. Could already start using the Demeteralizers. I just don't think I want to be pushing here. I want to be getting pushed out if anything. <coughs> It's also much better to save my W poke until he's actually harassing me. Because then it kind of forces him to like back off or he's going to have to eat the second W as well. Rather than just throwing out uh, at a point when, he, when he's not harassing me and then he just backs off and then he actually goes back to harassing me. Oh, come on. I got blocked there. So there he was walking for us to try and harass me, we just back off, throw the W and back off, and forces him to back off as well. God, it is actually so hard to even harass him with this first strike considering his e poke range. Alright, but this is why we have TP. Eventually we're going to be forced to base here, and that's alright. It's always going to be a hard matchup. Since it's very hard to align him with his point and click root, even if we manage to gap close onto him, then he just easily disengages with his move speed and root. Okay, we do some damage at least, and hopefully this buys me a good recall here. Now he's forced to back off and he's lower HP. Mm, I don't really have much mana for a proper shove though. Alright, that's fine. Just gonna place a ward there. And hopefully we can recall here. Actually, I don't, have to, I don't even have to try too hard for like a really gritty recall spot because I got TP anyway, so. Buy a pink while we're here. Hmm. I don't know if I actually want to freeze because it's just going to TP in anyway. Don't want to lose a bunch of HP just to barely deny any farm. If anything, I could have looked to cancel his base with my W maybe, but by the time I decided that, I think it would have cost me too much HP. And we're getting pretty close to that level 7, which, with enough different materializer, should clear the back line. We can potentially go on Z here, maybe? I just got the scuttle crab. Mm, I don't know if I want to. Do I want to use this much mana? Sure. It's 100 gold. And there's a honey fruit there for me, actually. This is perfect. Okay, not much I could have done there with the Polish Peak win.
I'm just gonna ignore this wave and just go straight for the fight. So I might be able to clean up here, looking at how the fight is going. Oh god, the Blitzcrank is terrible though. You don't want to pause Blitzcrank's DPS, you want to pause... Ideally, some mirrors. That's fine. We're just flashing them, make sure we manage to land that perfect. Okay, we're actually still not one-shotting casters right now, but hopefully soon we will be. Alright, let's run rush mid and try and crash that in time. We got a super early almost thanks to that anyway though, that was really good. Mmm. Can I wave? Ah, oh, fuck it. Hopefully, two W's here should be enough. Two W's and some auto attacks for the cannon. So long as I don't get ganked here, I should be fine. There we go. And at this stage, we can just go for... Uh, Oracle Lens to make our roaming more effective, since we should be able to launch the casters now that we got Yomus. Even without that double, hopefully just the amount of longswords we could have bought should have been enough for... killing the casters with W. Damn, only got one here. Okay, Quinn is on the way. Maybe I can just one-shot her, though. I imagine she has to be squishy. She's in that brush. Don't know why my potion is there. She probably wants, to, wants me to waste cooldowns on Rise, so... I don't want to do that, because then I can't one-shot her. I can just gank her now, though. Shut down. Where's my Q? There we go. Nice one. I don't know where Rise is, but he might be coming towards me, so I'll back off into a safe spot. <coughs> I got TP now up as well, but no ult to make a play with, so probably would rather not make a TP gank. I think also prioritizing Serrated Dirk here over Ionians would have been fine too. I don't know really which is better. Maybe Serrated Dirk, but too late for that now. I think also Merc Treads against Rise wouldn't have been bad. Definitely makes it easier to duel them and harder to get caught out by ganks. Since you got the point and click CC. Well, he definitely should have been trading back there with a the root. You can see the matchup has become significantly better now whether he trades back or not. We actually start to deal some damage. Despite the... Uh, them having a lot of ages being relatively tanky. Of course, having three kills helps. Oh, hello. Nice one. Got him. He should not have been standing in melee range, so I could do the melee kill. That was too much burst. Probably won't be able to get shove this in, unfortunately. 
That is what it is. Junglers love to be annoying and not let you get farm. Even at the expense of themselves getting farm. We can go bot now. Looks like there's gonna be a fight there. And is also on the way. Hmm. Might be too late to get anything now. Oh, that's not the jump I wanted. Fuck it. Nice. And that was another treasure at the proc, so well worth my journey. Oh, I completely forgot. I had TP, didn't I? So actually, that would have been the smarter move. It, In hindsight, it wouldn't have changed much. Like, it would have just got me a Kalan Samira, which I don't care about. If somebody else is going to get it anyway. But in the moment, I might have thought that one of my teammates might die from that. So I should have TP'd in to save them. Only hindsight showed me that that wasn't the case. God, he's so annoying. Yeah, definitely not the most amazing matchup, but you just play it safe, get some farm and scale up and just wait for your opportunity. Whether it comes in him messing up in the 1v1, or just getting to clean up somewhere. Nice. Maybe I can go for Quinn. Oh, she's teeping, er, Olaf is teeping, so she's not gonna stay. Hmm. Might be able to chase her down here though, this is looking promising. Yeah. Got her. Alright, now we can base. And maybe just TP back on the mid lane. We don't want to miss farm and we don't want to miss too much turret damage. I think that's going to be the safest move here. And I've already got Axie Mark. Amazing. Not really a good use of my mana, honestly. Your allegiances mean nothing to me. Okay, we know they got a pink here. can just kind of hover towards the bot side in case we want to head over there and make a play. And get especially like a kind of gank or something since they're already pushed. But we don't run all the way there, so if there's nothing to do, we just return to mid lane. Rise may have based either that or he might be ganking bot. Since I don't know for sure, I'm just going to go for the turret. Okay, he's actually coming here. I'll try and run bot. Maybe running bot was the right move actually. God damn it. Hang on. Got him. And uh, now I'm good. No, come on. That was meant to be. Hang on. Got him. <laughs> that was meant to be a ranged Q, not a melee one, my bad. Nice one. Perfect. I got no mana now. This could be bad. Ow. I think she flashed from there, right? Ooh. Nice. Sorry, Twitch. If I knew he had heal, I would have uh, pulled it up sooner. But yeah, I'm sure she must have flashed there. 
All right, let's just try the Prowler's Claw this time, I think. Just run straight blood. Oh, that was a misclick, but I guess it works. No Looks like this will work. Hmm. Nice one. Yeah, Samir is a little bit of a soft counter towards Talon because you can block both your W and also your R, which. Of course, also makes it harder to park your passive, and Talon without passive is just not really a champion, but... Make it work. It just limits your options. Okay, he should have used the snare immediately. We got Yomu's back up, so this should be easy. Perfect. So we just, we just kind of like queue onto him as a test. Like, is he going to be smart and do an immediate EW? And if he does, then okay, fine. We just disengage because if we were to R, we would be rooted and we can't follow up. So, you know, nothing to do with that. But if he doesn't immediately E W, then what we do is repress R, so it removes his option to press W, and we get into position to try and one shot him once um, the ultimate is running out. And by the time we've done all of our burst, like he's just like far too low, and if he even if he does root us by that point, we can just easily chase him down. Especially because we got into a position where he couldn't run towards his turret while we were in stealth. And we're actually assessing him now as well. What the hell? Yeah, I just wanted to farm. Cheers. <laughs> that was a weirdly long hook though, right? I was not expecting to get hooked by that. Actually, maybe I could also just do from the side draw. Mm, I don't have the gold though. I do love Roman aside John Talon though. Move your next item. If I just rush here instead of actually farming a wave, I might be able to kill Quinn. Oh wow, I'm not even needed. Cool. I never compromise. Definitely much more feasible to farm. You're kidding me. Farm those scuttle crabs later on than earlier on. Alright, how much damage is this dealing? 182. And it's also a slow. That could be really nice. They won't survive. Whoops. Nice one. Oh, goodbye Twitch. Oh, I'm actually deathless this game. out of here. Spend our gold.
We'll actually just go for the Ravenous Hydra, I think. We can afford to do that. I think the main alternative would be Edge of Night. Or maybe Sorrel does Grudge if they were actually stuck in armor, but they're not. Maybe get rise here. We'll just move into into sub point if he's running back here. Now that I got seen by Zed, though. Oh, there he is. That's fine. I just wanted to get some gold from first strike. You see, 123, hello worth. <laughs> and I was a little bit low, I guess. Well, cool. Then is not too long anyway. So hopefully we just don't get into a fight soon. The one I have to participate in at least. Oh, is he? Did he just recall on TP's bot? Nice. What a coward. We don't really have to match that since... They don't really have enough people to defend here, so we just keep on pushing and he's gonna lose more than he gains from split pushing. Come on, come on. Get me out, get me out. Nice, I should have popped you homeless, but it's all good. <laughs> I mean, not really worth it at all, because now I can't. Oh god! Go for the turret! Oh my lord. Cannot believe I made it out. That is crazy. The Deathless game lives on. Oh god, I could have right clicked the bear on their backs and actually never think about it. Let's get this, just in case something happens while we're recalling, somebody finds us or anything, but we should be able to just recall. Nice. Wait, whoops, this isn't up yet. There's nowhere to hide. He hasn't rooted us in time, so we just turn this into a kill. He has to root fast, otherwise we can just ult and deny the root in future until he's one shot. I'm really good old back up. Nice. Nice one. All right, GG. Victory. All right, gamers, we are back for another game of Talon Mid, where my enemy laner is gonna start with a kill and an assist. It just, it happened just right now, right before I started this video. It was crazy. Both of my ball in were AFK here. Like, completely AFK. The enemies walked up to them, and none of them reacted until they were dead. But what are the odds both of them are entirely AFK there, bro? Like, what? Literally away from keyboard. Oh well. At least Quinn has missed some XP here trying to spend her gold, which she didn't need to do. She didn't lose any HP. Oh, and she wasted her gold on boots. Interesting. 
power, so I would have just bought a long sword. She definitely had the gold for that. Yeah, not much to do here. Can't really gank any lanes right now. I could try and gank top, I guess, but it's a big risk at this stage of the game, I would say. <clears throat> now, I want her to shove this in the turret. I want to be closer to my turret, so I just hide out of vision for as long as possible before I decide that I want to walk forwards and make sure that I don't miss CS. Just gives her time to think that maybe I'm basing and start pushing to try and crush the wave. This time we actually level D, since we were a little bit pushed up. There was a non-zero chance we would get ganked there. Ah, oh, so close to getting that. We actually got a decent amount of CS there. An enemy has been slain. I could try going on her now. Oh, what the hell? Are you kidding me, bro? Alright, I'm gonna live at least. But does she die? Oh. Kha'Zix, you should stop chasing. Oh no, he misclicked and I'm not even sure if I was going to kill her anyway. What a terrible play to use Flash for that. Oh man. I have a feeling Dana's going to be sticking around. Yup, I'm slowed. I forgot Quinn has a slow apparently. Okay, I'm, I love. Alright, hopefully I can base here, and I'm not going to miss too much from thanks to my TP. <clears throat> yeah, that was a bit awkward though, that I had to run into Diana because I, I was blinded so I couldn't actually see her there. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have TP'd so early? Alright, it'll be fine. It's not exactly full HP, but it's good enough. Definitely should have waited though, but I will. I was right out, I would end up coming back into lane low HP. At least we got a CS lead. Doesn't really make up for the two kills Quinn now has, but it's something. And we should be up in XP, I believe. Block from that. This is the dumbest thing about trying to loss it on melee champions, is when you randomly don't get the pathing you expect to get. I don't want to walk up unless hit those costers, we just save the W for those. Should not be able to get her apparently. Oh my god, Dan is back. We can't kill Quinn here, so we need to keep going. That's so annoying. If I managed to land two Ws on her, then I would have been able to turn on her, but... She's actually still ch- this is absurd, bro. Like, she's never gonna catch me. She just doesn't want me to recall either. Yeah, that's a bit sad. We managed to like get a really good trade there, but then we couldn't just turn it into a kill because... Or like, like it couldn't turn it into an actual HP lead because... To stop Quinn from doing a punch of return damage, we'd have to keep going on her, but we couldn't do that with Diana there, so... Just getting babysit hard right now. It is what it is. I wonder if they actually had vision there. They must have. No way she would blindly queue that exact spot, right? I 
Nah, I'm gonna stick around. I don't want to miss a cannon wave. I'd, I'd rather miss any wave but a cannon wave. Now we have to base though, because we have zero chance of doing anything this lane until I have some mana and HP back. So it sucks to kind of lose my CS lead here, but it is what it is. Alright, the ultimate test with zero kills and through and all the dematerializers used. Can we kill the casters with W? Just with decent CS. Not even perfect CS, just decent. No platings. We can perfect. Maybe it takes triple longsword though. Like maybe double longsword is not enough. Maybe Caulfields wouldn't be enough. I'm not sure. Nice one. Let's try and maybe get a kill on this Jinx. If she doesn't have heal, then I should be able to one shot her by myself. Oh. I'd rather go for Dan, actually, honestly. But she did have heal, goddamn. Oh, come on. Ah, we're just gonna go on Jinx. Okay, we got her. Okay, sad I didn't know that we're getting the red buff, but it will. She's so annoying, bro. Ah, now I don't have vision of her. No, for fuck's sake. She's gonna keep going for me. No. At this point, I might as well have just based. Ooh, this could be good, though. This could be good. She has no E now. Keep going on her. Keep going, keep going. Keep going, bro. Okay. I'm back off now. Not bad, not bad. They won't survive. Okay, we see Diana. Diana wants my ass, as usual. Nothing new there. I could sell a longsword now for Yomos if I wanted to. Bro, like, she's so... Tr like, holy... Like, what is wrong with her, man? Walking all the way to my turret to see if I'm there. Whether she can still have a chance of ganking me or something. Like, holy crap. Or cancel my base or something, I don't know. Just got issues, man. There's nowhere to hide. Anyway, I'm nearly got ult up. That could potentially lead to a kill on Quinn, maybe. Very soon. I could maybe bait her. She might try and ult onto me here. Nope, she's not doing that. Ah, oh, damn. No, come on! Oh, I think I'm dead here. Yep, sad. Damn it, that, holy crap, that was such a fast uh, E from her. My intention there was to let my E, I'm sorry, my R hit her. Um, by releasing it manually with like a manual R click instead of ordering her. And then that would be the third uh, spell hit to prong my passive, but the moment I came out of invisibility, she just immediately eat me, and I think that's the second time she's done that, so I'm wondering if she's scripting that. That would be a weird thing to script, though. But that doesn't seem normal <laughs> that it's happened twice now, notably. That was crazy fast. Let me look at that again, if possible. Yeah, look, look how fast that was, bro. Or, oh, maybe it's because I entered turret range. That's also a possibility, maybe. That'd make a bit more sense. I don't know if I was in terror range, but it's possible. Anyway, my bad. I guess. Wouldn't have even needed to rely on that if I would have just hit my W and not wasted it. Ooh, this turret of theirs is about to fall. This should be a free kill. No, we don't want to do Drake. This is not the time to do Drake, Kha'Zix. Oh, what a waste of a whiff. Ah, uh, this play was already taking a lot longer than I 
Which would have. At least Zara, we know Zara doesn't have ult now. But they could have just tanked the turret and killed it. Doesn't even matter if they're taking aggro. Got him. Put my ultimate there so it would also hit the Zara so it would keep the stacks up so I could hopefully turn that into a kill on her. Unless that I also managed to get the Jinx with just AoE, which I wasn't really planning on. Oh man, her farm is terrible. Oh, why, why does Zara have so much farm with? Zara must be trolling her. I could TP there. Nah, there's no need, is there? Because uh, I think if I TP here, Volibear just walks away. I could save my teammates, sure. But... <laughs> I want to TP for kills. That's how I roll. Hmm, I probably do kill Volibear now, though. Should have started doing it sooner, but well. Wait, he's actually two levels up on me. I don't know if I do kill him. And I have no vision. I gotta play this slow, actually, at the very least. Yeah, I don't think I win this, actually. Holy crap. Get me out of here. Jesus. Alright, we should make it. If I don't get run down by Quinn. Yeah, holy crap, my bad. Why is that guy two levels up on me? I'm doing really... Oh. I feel like I'm doing decent for farm, right? Been getting only solo XP. Nice one, we got an assist for that. I need to base now. <laughs> Lovely. Well, I mean, it doesn't help that he leveled up in fight, but still, that was not even close. Anyway, that's gonna be a turret for Quinn as well, nothing I can do about that. They are way overextended. I can try and shove this wave and then help, but I don't want to sack a wave for potentially not reaching them in time. Oh, my bad. Yeah, now this is far too late, so hopefully they get a call back. No, whatever. We just push the turret then. It's all super annoying when my laning phase is basically being like hard handicapped by being just hard camped by this Diana. So that like really limits my ability to carry, but you know, it's fine because you know, hopefully I shouldn't need to carry if the enemy jungler is spending that much attention on mid instead of other lanes, right? But nope. Every lane is getting stumped, so I need to bomb me 9, but my ability, ability to bomb me 9 has been greatly limited. Hit that. Oh god. You're kidding me. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm probably eventually gonna get caught out by Quinn here. Cho'gath. 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 This is so fucked. Oh, oh, like, that's so annoying. He was here the whole time, man. Yeah. Sucks. Okay, not bad. Yeah, uh, these are always the hardest games to carry in Loyola if you're not duo queuing, even if you're a smurf. Just because unless you can outplay the ganks to the point where you can 2v1, then it's like, you're completely in uninhibited from getting a, a large lead in lane, and then you are then you have to carry as if you had a large lead. And it all comes down to the coin flip of the enemy jungler hard camping you, and then the rest of his lanes just happen to win despite that. Just pure luck on their behalf. Holy crap, my team is already back up. I'll keep an eye out in case I can uh, use that. <laughs> my auto didn't proc, man. Honest to god, like, I'd be shocked if she actually isn't scripting. Like, I know I was uh, um, not invisible because of the turret, so maybe it's possible, but sheesh, man, this is... 
Like, she's had someone real luck. She, if she just got hit by my passive there, she'd be dead. Okay, I was getting ready to TP there. Still ready to TP at a moment's notice. Not there though. I need my bot lane to be together, I think. Fuck it. Oh, no kill for me. No, that would have been a huge shutdown, bro. <laughs> Don't- oh my god. It's not my game. Nothing to do there. I don't have enough mana. Um, I could just base and sell my refillable, or not even have this all refillable, honestly. Yeah, so for fighting this Volibear, in hindsight, definitely would have been better to win a Conqueror setup, but I couldn't know he was going to get this fed. So we're just going to have to, like, mainly focus on either, like, fighting this Volibear as a team, like, if we can catch him out, like, 3v1 or something, or otherwise just mainly ignore Volibear and just hope that by killing his teammates that I can carry that way. Maybe we can go for Dana here? I think that should be doable. Hello. Come on. Oh, there goes my first strike, bro. That's so annoying. And, oh. Could proc my passive on Diana, but I don't think it's worth it. I don't know how much backup we have, and we know Volibear's in the area. In fact, I can't really advance from here, I don't think. Okay, thanks to Axe Mark though. Nine seconds off my ultimate. Let's get some HP back as well so we can fight with that when it's up. Let's try and get the Strinx. Shouldn't be hard, she's way overstaying. And this is a big way for me too, love it. Nice. Hopefully I got most of that whiff. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't go to Kha'Zix. Maybe just died to my W and R. <coughs> Somebody's around the Volibear. Ugh. Oh, I didn't park my passive on him. Oh, that was a good E from him. Oh my god. He might be okay though. Nah, can't kill him. Maybe with some help from the team though. Oh god. Mm, no, I need to get out of here. So Quinn is alive. She's gonna be probably sprinting towards bot. I need to base fast here. Not get distracted by anything. Okay. We see her now. Nice one. Oof! Kha'Zix damage. Oh my god, that Volibear heal. Nice, I'll take it. Okay, well, we're never gonna catch her. Nope. <sighs> Could have keyed onto that cannon to get it. Oh well. 
All right, well, thank God the Kha'Zix is fed, because it makes this game much easier. Well, actually, I suppose their bullet was never actually fed for one. Like, my bullet didn't look that they were doing fine, but when you compare their CS to the enemy's bullet CS, yeah, this game never actually looked doomed, just hard. Potentially. Why, though? Nice. Like, at best, that was only ever gonna be, like, ult for ult. <clears throat> Maybe she was just really hoping I wouldn't have ult up. Oh. No, you're kidding. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Damn. That blows. Is that a big shot that I gave? Only 200. Not bad. Maybe I just do Lost Whisper here now. It would be good for the Volley Bear. Let's do it. Lost Whisper into Cyril Disc Grudge should be good. Uh oh. Just gonna go top. We don't have any expectation of being able to contest this Drake. God damn, my TP now has the same cooldown as heal. That's crazy, actually. I never knew it goes this low. These days. They won't survive. Don't know if I should stick around. Okay, it should be safe with Sequin. One of the only people who could actually catch me if I run away. Oh, come on. I can't hit her now. Oh, no. <laughs> well, that blows. Dude, that was so inconvenient that I got pulled out of the brush. <laughs> Cost me so much damage onto her. Damn. Alright, my bad. Since Quinn went bot, I was hoping that they'd kind of ignored me, and then I was the only person who paid attention. Ah, that blows. Everybody on my team was completely out of position there. The Like, me dying when they're also killing Jinx, or like when Jinx is just on the wrong side of the map anyway, should never lead to a free Baron for them. That's just per macro from my team. Ganking somebody who's bot side at 25 seconds, uh, 25 minutes into the game. Enemy killing Well, this sucks. My wave clear now that they have Baron is gonna really suck. Like, I said, like uh, obviously that means that you know we might struggle a little bit with defending waves, but most importantly, I'm also gonna suck at actually getting farm, as long as somebody's in the same lane as me. You know, one of the enemies. I mean. Oh no. <laughs> I want the red. Damn it. Maybe I can get Quinn though. Oh, fuck, I've lost my movement speed. Fuck, she's in a cloud zone. I didn't expect that. Dude, she's gotta be scripting it. I swear to God. There is no way. There is no way. There is no way that is not a script. I, I gotta check if she's smurfing or something. But even for a high level player, like, this is unreal. I've never played against a Quinn. Who is, like, so on point with with using her at the exact perfect moment. But yeah, I also got kind of, like, screwed over by the cloud zone that I didn't realize. So, like, she managed to, like, get a speed boost away from me. Without me seeing her in vision. So I didn't know she was accelerating so far away. So it was a bad time for me to activate ult. Oh my god. Right, let me check if she's a smurf. 
If she's a smurf and got camped by her jungler as well, then that's just unlucky. Popping Yomus to try and get him time. Nice one. Nice. Wow, she's tanky, bro. I'm so dead. Yep. Ooh, does she die? No, nope, because she's not that unlucky. She gets a level up. Was it a level up or was it just triumph? No, it was triumph. And what the hell? Nice, Ezra called her, I guess, with ult. I know I'm looking her up. Nope, that's a 45% win rate silver player. She's, it's gotta be a script. I, like, I don't know. Like, I can't say it 100% because scripters usually... Like, it's much easier to identify a script by a scripter by, like, their movements if they're using, like, a dodge script. I haven't seen any dodge script. That is just, like, there's no way that he is not scripted. <laughs> Goddamn. Um, nah. Okay, thank god she died. This is unreal luck that I have this game, bro. Oh, fuck the vision here. I need to get out of here. Oh, goodbye, Jinx ult. Okay, I think the best thing we can do is just use Edge of Night and hope that that can deny some Quinnies. Even if it just denies some Quin Qs, that might also be good. A lot of the time we get Q up, I can't re-engage onto Quinn because we have no sight. Nice. To not kill Jinx and also get to run down Volibear with my team. And if I wanna walk up to him actually, we wanna play around cooldowns. Ooh. Okay, well that didn't seem to be scripted at least. Still, wasn't enough to kill her either, that's why. She felt fine tanking that I guess. Uh oh. We're fine. Like, honestly, if she's not scripting, then she has had the luckiest game of her life. Oh, the smudge of Night gone. Cut. Okay, I killed the Quinn at least, thank god. God damn it, man. What killed me there? I guess her passive auto. Just as I ulted. God damn, that was a lot of damage. How much HP did I have? So I got hit by her Q, had 649 damage. Yeah, she overkilled me by like 200 maybe, because of her collector. <clears throat> okay, now we have Edge of Night. I think the next thing we have to do is probably Black Cleaver to help us kill Volibear even more effectively. Help our team kill him more effectively as well. Your inhibitor is respawning soon. Your inhibitor is respawning soon. 
Like, honestly. If you judged this matchup only by this game, you would think Quinn is just the hardest count uh, talent counter of all time. But I guarantee you this is not how the matchup usually goes in lane or out of it. Like, this Jinx is actually just trolling, though. That's the only reason we haven't even lost yet. She's actually just refusing to group. It helped her earlier, though, because my team literally went to go gank her bot and, they got a fr and the enemy team got a free Baron out of it. Like, imagine your ADC is trolling and it leads to a free Baron for your team. Come on. Holy shit, I'm perma slowed by this Iron one, bro. <laughs> Even when I'm not targeted by it. Bro, cut this minion block. Okay. Actually, I got ult up. Maybe we can do something on the Quinn here. I'm so gonna fucking die. Here's the thing, though. Oh, where am I? Nice. We actually have the damage to one shot right now. Love to see it. Actually, maybe we do Reminis Hydra. Oh. All good, all good. Uh, thought that was Quinn actually. Nope, just Jinx. Alright, I got TP if I need it. Oh boy. Not the play I would have gone for. Like, sure, she's vulnerable, but only if she's alone, which we don't know. Yeah, that's not a good trade. Hey, trolling ADC for our really strong jungler? I'll never take that trade. Not any day of the week. <clears throat> oh, damn. This perma slow, bro. I'm never going to reach the Zyra who's oblivious to me. Sucks. Alright, I got Black Cleaver. I want a base. Hmm, maybe we can fight now. I don't have ult though. No, I want a base. I don't know if I can wait for home guards though, so... Alright, nice. My team pretty much wins it without me anyway. Nice. But yeah, their team has now had multiple moments where their team having a troll made things easier for them than harder, rather than harder. How crazy is that? It just happens that way sometimes. Like, the enemy team has a troll, and so it baits your team into making a bad decision trying to punish the troll. <laughs> it sounds absurd, but it just happens so often. I've seen trolls carry games before. Probably can't really keep pushing here. It's good, though. They cracked their first inhib like, what, 20 minutes ago? Feels like it. Uh, I just can't really do it without this wall, actually. I probably wasted that. Did she flash on me? What the hell? I feel like she did. She also has guild for us, apparently.
And match, so I guess their team was two trolls considering the Zara's farm, how high it was early on. She had almost the same farm as Jinx in the laning phase. Oh, hello. What the hell? Oh, that's Jinx not when my bad. I didn't need to use ult. That was really overkill. Okay, <laughs> Kha'Zix gets Quinn really easily though. We can maybe just end off of that now. Melta is almost up anyway. Doesn't matter that I wasted it. Wait, what? You're kidding me. Just want to peel for my Ezreal. There we go. Did she, did she solo that? There's surely no way she could solo that, right? What a weird game, man. Oh. We can't actually end, though. Are you kidding me? I landed nothing on her. Okay, we landed enough apparently. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Caught me off guard. I should have used my red trinket. But I wasn't expecting Quinn of all people. I was expecting maybe Jinx or Diana. Didn't realize Quinn was alive. What? No. Fuck. That sucks. Alright, my bad. That doesn't even look anywhere close to connecting, man. That sucks. Like, like it's... I look very visibly out of range here, right? That's so crazy. And then it... She does, like, a millimeter dash as well. It was, like, nowhere near, even to the spot where I eat from. Look, where do I eat from? I eat from here. Yeah. I eat from, like, here. She jumped to here. And she hit me while I was, like, here. <laughs> <laughs> That's so weird. What a weird hitbox that was. Oh man, did he just waste his jump like that? What? Could have jumped out. Oh, right before Drake spawns as well. Oh man, they're about to get four Drakes in a row if they get this, and they probably will. This game is not over yet. They can easily get flanked by Quinn here. Okay, well I think at least Quinn has, had s has stopped having like as many lucky moments with a re. <laughs> for what it's worth. I guess I'm leaning towards not script and just luckiest game over life. Oh, they'll be in the wrong direction because I decided to run right then. I might be dead here. <laughs> My bad. Alright, at this stage I think I want to sell Axiom Mark for Ravenous Hydra. We're not as reliant on it for reduction of our cooldown on ultimate since the old cooldown is just so low by itself anyway. Ravenous Hydra should make us a little bit better at dueling. Actually, maybe I even want to sell Yomus for Eclipse. That would definitely help a lot against Volibear. I think it, it should be good, actually. So if I can do it. I can't do it yet, I don't think. But I could do it soon. Oh, actually, I can do it right now. Let's see, I'm open 23. Hopefully we live long enough for it to matter. Because this is going to give me 16% armor pen, which is going to be really nice. For all his armor. Oh god, he's got 319, apparently. And then also, the biggest deal will be the shield that I get, which makes me a more effective duelist. And also, the percentage of his max HP is damage. Oh, that sucks. Nice. Huge.
Actually, maybe Ravnus Hydra isn't even that good for dueling ever since the changes where it doesn't give Omnivamp. Oh, wow, she's just sprinting past me, okay. Hard to predict the behaviors of a troll, I guess. Oh, come on. I think she actually gets away here. Yeah, that's fine. It's not that important to kill her. Stop her getting this in hub now. I don't want to use flash to kill her. That's just a waste. Compared to using it to actually kill somebody who's trying to win the game. Oh my god. This is really hard to win this game with two inhibs down now. And no Nexus turrets. She might be going for a red buff. We already saw her go for a red earlier. Oh, oh it's... It's uncomfortable not having Yomus. Alright, there we go. Somebody took a red, but it wasn't her, apparently. God, it's, it's actually, like, so lame that you can only have Yomus as an assassin now if you have it as mythic. <laughs> only just hit me. Like, I keep I keep mashing two, like, being so used to having Yomus on any assassin talent build. I like Ravenous Hydra is not actually that good here. Um, what do we want to sell it for then? I guess this. This should be good. 220 damage plus the 99% second slow. Oh, let's try and get Diana here. That's a very good kill to get if we can get her. Got her. Eclipse shield, baby! There's just all these Iceborn zones all over the place, bro. I can't move. I actually hate this item. It's the most annoying item in the game right now, I think. Don't know what I could sell boots for, even. Don't think there's a good option on assassins at the moment. <clears throat> Definitely not if you don't have Yomus. Don't cross me. Okay, that's one in hip up. I think somebody needs to base and deal with this. Otherwise, Volibear could just TP and. Actually, maybe I can just kill somebody here before I go. Oh. Well, I'm distracting the guy that has CP, so at least we know he's not ending. Oh, come on. That sucks. My bad. Shit. Oh, no. Why did two people base for this? Oh, no. Uh, oh, actually, shit. That's actually really bad, because I don't know why Ezreal was even top, but I was like, yeah, whatever. I guess it was four. We can do Drake. But then I went over to distract them here, and then Cho'Gath was one of the people that was here and decided to TP. But it wasn't, like, that necessary, right? Like, the minions were not gonna end by themselves. That was a really panicky TP. It's not necessary in the slightest. And then we just can't finish Drake in time. Well, that should be GG. My bad, I guess. I guess it might have been more reliable to just go for the actual Elder. Damn. Yeah, well, unlucky. If I hadn't started off from, like, having to play so camped, then it would have been a much easier game, but it is what it is. Some games are just unlucky. GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Talon Jungle. 
Runes are going to be owning Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Lost Stand, Magical Fulwear, and Cosmic Insight. Pretty standard runes if you're playing jungle. Can also do an Assassin focus page on jungle as well. Again, using for a strike, but typically I just prefer to run Conqueror because it allows you to. Well, it synergizes better with um, Ravenous Hydra, which I really like running on Talon Jungle. Oh, what the hell? My bad. That's awkward. Anyway, we did Leashless again, so the enemies don't know where we started. Looks like my ball is getting pushed in really hard, so we're just gonna ignore that and just go straight to top side. Midline also pushed in, I don't wanna gank there. Could try and cheese an early gank on Vlad, but I don't like ganking Vladimir. Okay, looks like they're getting ganked, but it's far too late to try and follow that up. Looks like I'm probably not gonna go for an early gank anywhere, so we're just gonna skill a second point into a W here. I could have tried to predict the vehicle gank coming, but I think trying to predict anything in Loilo is. Not really that reliable, since nobody's really predictable, because nobody knows what they're doing. So we'd rather just do the rely the most um, consistent move of just going for the full clear. Try and go for Vladimir now. Okay, that could actually be a kill here. No, nope, never mind. That's good though. Probably shouldn't have jumped there. Actually, I might have wanted to use that wall for a regank, but he probably will just base, I imagine. Oh, looks like he's not. Could try and go for another gank. It's a little bit risky. Because we could get kind of ganked by Viego, but I don't think we will. Alright, SW is blown. Perfect. Uh, I didn't actually proc my passive there, my bad. I thought I would. So I wanted to keep my distance with between him. So he wouldn't be able to heal off of me. While he had the empowered Q. We're not going to bother cancelling base here. All right, straight to bot side we go. Straight to the golems. I never compromise. An ally has been slain. Okay, so I imagine all of Diego's camps are up at the moment. On bot side, because that's where he started. I don't know. Now he's, I started bot side. I don't know. My camps are up bot side, so it just makes sense it should be up as well. So I think I'm just gonna check those immediately. I don't see myself being able to gank ball into effectively. We'll jump from the left side, so in case we need to skip through there later on, it leaves the right side open. Okay, Gromp is up. Okay, we're gonna have time out soon, so I'm just gonna already start skilling points into Q. Oh, come on. Thought I was gonna die to that.
Nice one. Okay, Vegas bot side. My baller needs to be careful. We also know he has no camps up. Oh, he's also taking some of my bot side camps, or top side camps rather. That's smart. Well, only the wolves, it seems. Still better than nothing. Means I don't have a huge CS lead over him. Or at, least, at least not as huge as it could be. I am still like farming more effectively than he is though, while he's going for more ganks. We'll also check his top side now. I don't know that that's up, but just but judging by his farm, where he, he clearly has not been farming very effectively, there's a decent chance some might be up. Yep, that's the Raptors up. Close enough. Yep, it's all up. Wow, I actually took every single non-buff camp off of his latest jungle respawn. What the hell? It's because he keeps choosing to prioritize ganking over camps, which is not smart. You want to at least make sure you've taken at least one quadrant of the jungle before you go for a gank, or go for a gank on that quadrant and then return to that quadrant to farm. I don't know how many kills right now, but I'm significantly ahead of him in XP and probably not in gold, but I'm not doing bad. If I were to find him right now in a fight, I'd probably beat him, it's just because I have ult and he doesn't. And in general, the level up helps a lot, even if you're down in gold. So with the time we clear just extremely fast, which is nice. We don't we're not pressured to make any plays because we can just get really strong just by farming. Meanwhile, my Malfat is just stomping 1v1, which is nice. Yeah, I could do Herald actually, that's a good shot. Or I could also just try and kill Wukong, and if I fail, if I fail at that, I can just take his, take the farm. Yeah, he should be dead here. Use Ignite because I don't want to use ult. Perfect. Use it to break the middle and thread to open. <laughs> I think I'll do that after golems and raptors.
Oh, you're kidding me. Damn it, my bad. Maybe if I had thrown W sooner, would have killed him. Oh well. Would have been so nice to just kill him there and then be able to get that turret. Okay, nice one. Yeah, so I think my main mistake there, probably, I should have been a bit more patient with the ults. Just wait for my W to come up, since it's coming up at that point anyway. And then with the W damage added on top of my passive and auto. Then... That is enough. <laughs> yes, fat is your fault, bro. Calm down. You got a 200 gold shot then only, and he missed a bunch of farm for it as well. Actually, I should have placed it closer. I should just help them make sure that this wave actually gets shoved in and it doesn't get protected by like Viego or something. There we go. Managed not to even steal any farm. And hopefully that Herald just takes it to her by itself because I don't want to stick around. Boom, nice one. Why don't you go for the two of us? I thought, I thought that was a champion. That was way too big to be a ward. Can we see if we go bot side? Probably not going to be able to gank Vladimir there. He's just a very hard champion to gank. Should be able to get this turret though. Oh, or maybe not. Wait, I'm trolling. Oh no! I was actually in vision range there. Alright, my bad. Now Malphite can flame me. I actually missed that. So I was trying to target him with Q there. I even missed, but I still got aggro anyway. <laughs> Which I missed, which should have been a good thing. But I even, like, because I had Ravenous Hydra, still got me aggro anyway. Well, I think the minions were about to die anyway, right? Yeah, he actually killed the minions with AoE, so it didn't really matter too much. It just got me a, a tour shot slightly sooner. That's crazy that I'm still in vision range there, though. I was almost at the wall by that point. Maybe I should just take the AFK farming, what I do best. Oh, okay, well, that was an underwhelming game, GG. Alright, gamers, we are back for another game of Talon Jungle. The runes we're going to be winning Conqueror, Triumph, Alacrity, Lost Stand, Magical Fullware, and Cosmic Insight. Pretty standard runes if you're playing jungle. Can also do an Assassin focus page on jungle as well, again, using for a strike, but typically I just prefer to run. Conqueror because it allows you to well it synergizes better with um Ravenous Hydra, which I really like running on Talon Jungle. Oh what the hell? My bad. That's awkward. Anyway, we did leashless again, so the enemies don't know where we started. Looks like my ball is getting pushed in really hard, so we're just gonna ignore that and just go straight to top side. Madeline also pushed in, I don't want to gank there. Could try and choose an early gank on Vlad, but I don't like ganking Vladimir. Okay, looks like they're getting ganked, but it's far too late to try and follow it up. Looks like I'm probably not gonna go for an early gank anywhere, so we're just gonna skill a second point into a W here. I could have tried to predict the vehicle gank coming, but I think trying to predict anything in Loilo is... 
not really that reliable since nobody's really predictable because nobody knows what they're doing so we'd rather just do the rely the most um consistent move of just going for the full clear Try and go for Vladimir now. Okay, that could actually be a kill here. No, nope, never mind. That's good though. Probably shouldn't have jumped there. Actually, I might have wanted to use that wall for a regank, but he probably will just base, I imagine. Oh, looks like he's not. Could try and go for another gank. It's a little bit risky. Because we could get kind of ganked by Viego, but I don't think we will. Alright, SW is blown. Perfect. Uh, I didn't actually prog my passive there, my bad. I thought I would. So I wanted to keep my distance with between him. So he wouldn't be able to heal off of me. While he had the empowered Q. We're not going to bother cancelling base here. Alright, straight to the bot side we go. Straight to the golems. I never compromise. Okay, so I imagine all of Diego's camps are up at the moment. On bot side, because that's where he started. I don't know. Now I started bot side. I don't know. My camps are up bot side, so it just makes sense. It should be up as well. So I think I'm just gonna check those immediately. I don't see myself being able to gank bot into effectively. We'll jump from the left side. So in case we need to skip through there later on, it leaves the right side open. Okay, Gromp is up. We're gonna have time out soon, so I'm just gonna already start skilling puts into queue. Oh, come on. Thought it was gonna die to that. Nice one. Okay, Vegas bot side. My baller needs to be careful. We also know he has no camps up. Oh, he's also taking some of my bot side camps, or top side camps rather. That's smart. Well, only the wolves, it seems. Still better than nothing. Means I don't have a huge CS lead over him. Or at least not as huge as it could be. I am still like farming more effectively than he is, though, while he's going for more ganks. We'll also check his top side now. I don't know that that's up, but just but judging by his farm, where he, he clearly has not been farming very effectively, there's a decent chance some might be up. Yep, that's the Raptors up. I never compromise. Close enough. Yep, it's all up. Wow, I actually took every single non-buff camp off of his latest jungle respawn. What the hell? Let's 
because he keeps choosing to prioritize ganking over camps, which is not smart. You want to at least make sure you've taken at least one quadrant of the jungle before you go for a gank, or go for a gank on that quadrant and then return to that quadrant to farm. I don't know how many kills right now, but I'm significantly ahead of him in XP and probably not in gold, but I'm not doing bad. If I were to find him right now in a fight, I'd probably beat him. It's just because I have ult and he doesn't. And in general, the level up helps a lot, even if you're down in gold. So with the time we clear just extremely fast, which is nice. We don't we're not pressured to make any plays because we can just get really strong just by farming. Meanwhile, my Moffat is just stomping 1v1, which is nice. Yeah, I could do Herald actually, that's a good shot. Or I could also just try and kill Wukong, and if I fail, if I fail at that, I can just take his, take the farm. Yeah, he should be dead here. Use Ignite because I don't want to use ult. Perfect. Could use it to break the middle and turret to open. I think I'll do that after golems and raptors. Kidding me. Damn it, my bad. Maybe if I had thrown W sooner, would have killed him. Oh well. Would have been so nice to just kill him there and then be able to get that turret. Okay, nice one. Yeah, so I think my main mistake there probably I should have been a bit more patient with the ult, just wait for my W to come up since it's coming up at that point anyway. And then with the W damage added on top of my passive and auto, then that is enough. <laughs> yes, fat is your fault, bro. Calm down. You got a 200 gold shot then only, and he missed a bunch of farm for it as well. Actually, I should have placed it closer. 
I should just help them make sure that this wave actually gets shoved in and it doesn't get protected by like Vega or something. There we go. Managed not to even steal any farm. And hopefully that Herald just takes it to her by itself because I don't want to stick around. Boom, nice one. Why don't you go for the two of us? Bro, I thought I thought that was a champion. That was way too big to be a ward. Can we see if we go bot side? Probably not going to be able to gank Vladimir there. He's just a very hard champion to gank. Should be able to get this turret though. Oh, or maybe not. Wait, I'm trolling. Oh no, I was actually in vision range there. Alright, my bad. Now Malphite can flame me. I actually missed that. So I was trying to target him with Q there. I even missed, but I still got aggro anyway. <laughs> Which I missed, which should have been a good thing. But I even, like, because I had Raven aside, just still got me aggro anyway. Well, I think the minions were about to die anyway, right? Yeah, he actually killed the minions with AoE, so it didn't really matter too much. It just got me a tour shot slightly sooner. That's crazy that I'm still in vision range there, though. I was almost at the wall by that point. Maybe I should just stick to AFK farming, what I do best. Oh, okay, well, that was an underwhelming game, GG. Alright guys, we are back praying for a Talon Jungle game that lasts a little bit longer than 15 minutes, please. Starting off with an invade this game. Could we be running the Bruiser setup again. Like I said, just my favorite on Talon Jungle. Should also try the Bruiser setup on mid lane at some point. Ooh, they clearly have a ward there. There's no way that's not a bait. Well, that's five gold for Brand, I imagine. Hopefully not more than that. I don't imagine he gets... Is it? Would he have got like three stacks for that? Let's see. No, he only got one. Yep, 20. Good. We're gonna do leash list as usual. Hello. Darius. Huh. Cool. <laughs> well, I'll take it. Nice one. Okay, so we can do three camps into just spacing. We don't need the full clear. Given we're starting off with a little bit lower HP than we should have. Might not even need to use a potion here. I'm just gonna base anyway. Oh uh, well, I only want to base if I can get pickaxe though is the thing. If I can't get pickaxe then we're just gonna continue clearing. Looks like we're gonna continue clearing. That's okay. Hmm. Well, if we're gonna continue clearing, we may as well just full clear. We'll put a point to W. I won't really have mana to- oh, sorry, HP to gank. So we're just gonna already put a point in W. Yeah, kinda struggling, but nothing I can do about that. Nice. 
Yeah, so I'm pretty sure they work the jungle slightly, so if you step inside the circle, it actually doesn't drop aggro like it used to. I don't think it used to work that way. Okay, now thanks to the kill, we have enough for timeout already, but we'll just stop for the scuttle crowd first, too. Maybe go for a bottling gank. Hang on. I should have taken a look at that first. Yeah, probably sh Well... Yeah, I guess I should have gone for that first. <laughs> it's fine, I'll just clear it and leave. That's alright. Okay, so if we do Raptors into Golems here, we may be able to get a gank on Darius. We know he's gonna flash. Uh, actually, he should have Ghost up though, right? I don't think I ever saw him... Well, it might be down now, but I don't think he ever used it in the level 1, which is weird because it would be your go-to over flash. Oh, I oh, got that misclick. Ugh. That sucks. Mm. Maybe I could gank her, I guess. Maybe. I have to reserve this wall though. Oh, she has a ward there. Okay. I'll cut in a sec. My thing is coming back up. Here we go. Can also check the scuttle crab while I'm here. No, that's down. No, c you're kidding me. Come on, bro. Whatever, I don't think Darius noticed. Got him. Nice one. Doesn't have flash, so let's help a truck shove in the wave. Or it doesn't have TP, rather. Nice one. Now start putting points in Q. We're just going to spite the Gromp so we can get the Skrull Cub early and see if Dan is on it and see if we can contest it. We'll have a limited capability to secure it with our smite, but if she's not on it, then maybe I can just race it down now. This is not where I want it, want it to path, though, because we have vision on bot side, so we know she's not coming from there. She could come from top side, though. This is better. Okay, I'm pretty sure I just saw her there, right? I think that was her Q. I nearly got red trinket. Hmm. Maybe if I go in a brush and make a gank work. Dana needs to be the one at the front though. Yeah, so <laughs> they're not Dana Leona. That was weird. Well, actually, maybe we can just kill Driven here. Nice. It's good for us, I would say. Oh, come on. That's fine. So long as I don't die to somebody else here, I should be fine. Perfect. But yeah. I'm gonna just walk him back for no reason when her E is what we needed to kill Brent. We'll just pick up another longsword. Should be able to get Ravana Sadra on my next base anyway. Oh, 
Okay, Diana's CS is actually really good as well. Her clear is a lot faster than mine, so it should be. Just surprising that she's actually doing so well. She should have also thought to steal my top side camps while she saw me bot side, but I bet she didn't. Everything seems to be up. Okay, well, Aatrox knows she's topside. Try and go for Colin Draven here. It doesn't have vision. Oh, Brand is already in the lane. Okay, I should have waited for Misfortune to arrive then. No, oh, actually got stopped. Okay, that's Draven dead. Oh, but not to me though. Sucks. Oh. Oh well. Got enough for the Ravenous Hydra at least. Yeah, that sucks. Needed to just path more downwards to avoid the brand Q. Even if it wasn't the optimal pathing towards Draven. She should have just killed the Herald. They can't kill, can't stop her. Oh well. Actually, she's staying. Oh, she really wants the turret. What the hell? That was dumb. Alright, well the Drake is coming up, so I'll just take that, I guess. Oh! Oh, she, she died to the minion. That's unlucky. <laughs> Damn. Nothing seems to be up. Nice one. Maybe we can just kill Brand then. Should be free. If Leona notices and doesn't let him get to the turret for free- Oh my god. <laughs> Come on, man. That is so tilting. Adam perfectly cut off. Oh. What the hell? Ah, I'm not gonna be able to kill her. If I had- Ignite up, then I would commit my full burst to it. Okay, nice. I got the assist, though. <laughs> cool. Where's this Diana? Maybe go for Draven here, stop him getting that turret. Okay, here we go. Come on. He's dead. Perfect. I think Diana might be in the area, she's probably on golems, so we'll just leave. We saw our bot side recently. Love the sustain. 
Oh, God. Wanted to flip over here, but I guess the wall was too thick. So I have to do the walk of shame instead. Rampage. Nice one. Your team has destroyed a turret. Oh, blue's actually up. Should have started with that then. Okay, somebody's here. Oh, there she is. God damn it. She got hit by at least one of my W's. Uh, what the fuck? Okay, she's dead. <laughs> I don't know who got the blue there, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm the one that ends up with it. If Kiana can shove that, we can dive Syndra here. I don't know if she can shove it. I imagine. I mean, I think her wave clear is pretty good, right? So she should be able to. Ah, oh, but she's inadvertently preventing the dive. Unlucky. Should have just mad at that. All good. Oh god, the brand. I should have enough sustain to win through this fight with my conqueror and the robin aside. Draw. Come on, where is he? Where is he? Damn it, wrong direction. Where did he go? He must have went, went down, right? What the fuck? What? Where is he? He's everywhere, bro. What the hell? I thought he went down here, but he turned out to be there? What the fuck? Whatever. I'll just make sure I'm good to recall here. And I do need to recall, not start a Drake fight on 20% HP with nearly 4,000 unspent gold. Alright, now we can do Black Cleaver. one and <laughs> we have some conquer stacks from killing brand so just doesn't stand a chance if I didn't have any conquer stacks you might not have died to that I'm not sure I can kill Darius without my ultimate I got it up soonish though Okay, that's a turret shot. That'll help a lot. Should have him now. Well, 
<laughs> if not for the fact that he ghosted, I guess. Okay, brand no Q. Oh, damn it. Well, that's unlucky. Nice one. Oh, didn't need to use Red Drinker for this. Oh, and there's one there. How about I didn't see Miss Red coming until now? Shouldn't have taken it if she was on the way. Beautiful. Bro. Wait, what? Oh, that died to Brand, and not even his Q, just to his passive. That's crazy. That guy's so annoying, though. Just gonna say, watch him steal those golems, too. Actually, I can stick around here. I can maybe kill someone. If not, I get a free cannon wave, I guess. Yeah, okay. I don't think anybody's coming. I'll just get a free cannon wave. And keep on pushing a turret. Well, this game has lasted longer than 15 minutes already. It's already a success. This guy. I suppose I could still cut. Okay, never mind. I would very much rather he doesn't take that. <laughs> Don't know why I felt entitled to that blue. If I do, oh hello, I got conqueror. Boom, not even close. Yeah, we could do Baron now. Or we could just gank Darius again. Oh hello. Should be able to survive a uh, Diana burst just because I'm so ahead. No way. <laughs> I still got her though. Thanks to Meltima coming up now. Boom. Got her. I may as well spend my gold, honestly. Let's try this. Still haven't done enough testing on Prowler's Claw, I don't think. So I should be helping with Baron. Well, now that I'm here. Dead. Oh, come on. Maybe not. Unless... Oh! Okay. I'm still dead, though. Damn it. That was a bit unlucky sequence of events. <laughs> okay, at least Aatrox gets that.
Oh no, Aatrox. You should have had that. Oh, so close. I think that would have killed. At least we just barely managed to go brand before we died. He might be on my golems. Yes. Nice. Get him. Nice one. What am I even healing from now? Just ocean, I guess. Let me just check they aren't on that. True. Okay, they're not. Can probably kill Driven now. Look how fast they just run around the map, bro. It's crazy. Blue pad plus Talon. No Oof. I was about to jump on the end or a Syndra there. Just barely saw Brand. get him. Maybe I should have kept thinking though. Ooh. Can get the Anna eventually. Oh, wait. Oh, she's actually really strong. Holy crap. My bad. Dude. I oh, she has Thornwheel. Okay, I guess that makes some sort of sense. I'm not sure if that was all of it though. Like, uh, I mainly just missed my W and then even if I didn't, I think I still would have died anyway. I don't know, maybe with Armilla it was different, but I guess I need to get Lost Whisper now since she does have armor. Weird choice of item to build on her though. <clears throat> it is only at this moment also that I realize she's actually doing quite well herself. I thought she would be a pushover. <laughs> it's the main thing, I think. I just didn't realize she was fed. Should be a free burn for them. <coughs> it was worth a shot, Leona. Looks like Dana didn't have smite though. So it would have been better to delay it. Fuck the golems, they're out of the way of the rusty camps that I want to go for. And out of the way of the Drake. one. Maybe I should have saved that for Diana though. Don't know where she is at the moment. Just got a little bit of healing done. 
and I'll vault back up in 8 seconds. Jim's gotta be trolling. Got it. Not sure I want to go for that. <laughs> Go for their Files Misfortune. Maybe I can just back her up. Looks like nobody's coming for her though, which is weird. Maybe they assumed she had help. <coughs> nice one. Come on, there we go. Or... Actually, no, 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 no. Way more sensible than this is just going Maw. Oh, this, oh, Maw doesn't build out of this anymore. There we go. It's gonna make me uncuttable for Diana, Brand, and Syndra. They have, since they have triple Amar, this just makes a lot more sense. As much as Rolders would be nice against Aris, especially because also because it's a slow, so it helps like nail him down when he's ghosting. I think it's just way too valuable to have Amar against Triple A Pecan. Scatter. Come on. There we go. There we go. Queue up. Come on. No, I got stunned. No, oh, I've almost lived. Fuck. What did I get stunned by? I guess brain queue? Yeah. Damn. Good luck, guys. Damn it. Ah, if I didn't stand on the edge of the turret range. Could have been a lot better. Alright, looks like they escaped Darius. Alright, honestly, I might as well saw this. Just doesn't make nearly as much sense as going through this. How much damage did it do though, actually? He's 59, that's nothing, man. This doesn't feel like that strong an item. Fifteen lethality, fifteen ability haste. Nah. Not as good as Cyril does as a at least like him. Maybe as a second item. Yeah, let's do it. Come 
Yeah. The, the one thing I really like about Talon Jungle, in particular compared to Talon Mid, is you can't get camped. You are the camper. There's no scenarios like in the last Talon Mid game, where we just got camped, and then because we got camped, we couldn't get significantly ahead in the early game, and then we couldn't 1v9 because we got ahead too late. Like, no, you're much more likely to just get ahead because you're good when you're playing jungle. It's harder to shut you down. More of a team effort rather than one person going out of the way to fuck you. How the fuck did I get an assist on that? That doesn't make sense. Don't want to use ult for that. Yeah, it's Elder. We should rarely get this. As tempting as it is to push over 5v3. Why am I even still farming? I've been full build for ages. Should cheese here. Or here. Okay, I think as far as they know, only Leona's there. A little bit risky, but... Ah, damn it! Oh well. Should be fine. Can life still off the wave now? Oh, my Ignite didn't go off, I meant to use it. I don't think it would have died anyway though, right? Oof. Bad fight for my team. Oh, and their trucks died somewhere as well without me noticing. Oh, hello. Ow. Perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll wanna... He's out of here for now. Let's finish this quickly. Doesn't feel like there's much point in farming camps right now, so I'm just gonna run straight to the nearest champion and see if I can kill them. Maybe even save my ally. Nope, not possible. God, she is strong, man. Almost forced my maw. Good thing I'm healing off a of red buff and ocean as well. Yeah, like, the only camps that feel worth taking are just the enemy camps. Because that way it leaves my camps up for my team to farm, and the enemy camps not up for them to farm. I could have called her. Okay. Still had full conquest stacks. Oh, unlucky. We've been very slow to close out here, I gotta say. I'll try and join her there, I think. Oh, that misfortune damage. Yeah, not much to do except push top. Bot is too far to bother pushing. Oh. Oh my god, that misfortune damage. What the hell? Ah, oh, shit, I'm very dead here. <laughs> my bad, I failed that combo. At least if I managed to land it, I would have killed him. Well, probably. I, actually, I don't know because of the Zanyas. I might have... Yeah, I was probably disregarding the Zanyas again. But if, if they if I had killed him, at least I would have had the... Dust Blade, which would have let me do some more damage before I fell. Okay, not bad. Not bad. Okay, that could have gone worse. Not much for Leona to do by herself now, though. We're all just gonna chill. Take a breather, guys. We 
Yeah, it's very easy to achieve this 10 CS per minute on Talon. He doesn't have the greatest uh, clear early game, but it does scale into a pretty fast clear. And then just by being able to jump all over the map, I mean, there's a lot of like safe farming opportunities that would not be safe for other people. You get to the farm really fast. And you can wave clear minion waves really fast as well. No reason not to have 10 CS per minute on Talon unless you have a very busy game in terms of kills. Or fighting, or just having to be places. Well, I do want to get my Ravenous Hydra stacks back up, that is one thing. I wonder if I should sell Ravenous Hydra at this point though. Don't know what I'd replace it for though, Death Stance. It's just full bolt as well. I don't have to feel guilty about taking her farm. I need it more than she does because of Ravenous Hydra. We could probably just rush it, honestly. Careful, Aatrox. Oh no, is he gonna get cut up? Right now, then. Thank you, Maul. That did zero damage to me. Perfect. Where's the last person alive? Oh my god, wait, I'm about to die to Brand Pass even less. No! Dude, I literally wasn't hit by Brand, it was Aatrox. I accidentally walked into the Brand Pass if I was on Aatrox. Fuck. <laughs> Let me see. Yep. Walked into his explosion. Whoops, that's entirely on me. Well, not entirely. Like, it's on both of us, right? <laughs> but neither of us thought about it. Uh, and I just panicked and I could If I realized immediately, I could have just rushed to the plant. <laughs> oh, well. Might not have reached an attempt to save me, but... Anyway, this should be able to end here. Perfect. GG. Alright gamers, we are back for another game of Talon mid. This game we're going to be playing Talon against Fizz. Which could be a better matchup, but it's definitely also 100% winnable. We're going to be use the going to be using the Bruiser setup this game and running Duran's Blade. Which should be good with the Bruiser setup as well. And especially... Especially good with TP as well, I would imagine. Oh. Okay, I kind of fucked that up. Oh, how would DD have the range for that? That was actually a decent trade until that last auto landed. Now this minion will stop chasing me. This is... Absurd. <laughs> Alright, it is what it is. We'll pop a potion. Okay, that's fine. Boom. Decent trade this time. Okay, nice. We managed to preserve the stacks. Wait, did we? No, we didn't. Oh, my bad. Thought we did. Whoops, hang on. I don't have Ignite, so I'm probably screwed here. Yeah. Whoops, that was not my greatest moment. My bad. I was trying to do a melee queue there, not even a range queue, so that's not even a case of uh, like miscalculating where I'd end up. I just didn't mean to end up anywhere at all, except for where it was. My bad. It's kind of hard to get that melee queue to land that I'm winning and just E at any point. So I'm getting kind of desperate. Oh, come on, I missed the cannon as well. So annoying. On the bright side, I got TP, he doesn't, so we're actually gonna end up with a CS lead here no matter what. I also wanna try and cancel his base here if possible. Because he does want the base there as much as he's gonna miss farm. He does want to finish that base. Otherwise, I can just try and dive him here. Which has a chance it might go wrong, but we gotta try it. Because it's definitely the right move here, 100%. You're kidding. Okay, we got it. Boom, he should have based. Told you. So at this point, I just want this melee to stop focus. Just stop focusing me, man. There we go. Like, oh, it should be there. Now that my entire wave is going to focus it. That's so annoying. I hope this wave ends up well. <laughs> yeah, it should, it should end up decent. Uh, problem with me trying to stay there and trying to push that and deny another wave from Fizz is that I might die to Nunu. Or not die to Nunu necessarily, but 
get ganked by Nunu mid shove and then have to abandon it mid shove and then the wave state is terrible. And there's also the chance as well that I could just die to Nunu. So best thing to do there is just leave the wave. We did end up seeing Nunu on top side, but that's, you know, after we decided not to push. Anyway, uh, we should have a lead now. Not exactly right now. At the moment, we're just even. He even has a, like, slight CS lead just from... Slight lead, sorry, from the slight CS lead he's got, but that's only temporary until I soak this up. Then I have a very definitive lead as well. Okay. We can maybe keep on chasing. We'll see what happens. Oh my god. Okay, he might be dead there. I need to flash up. <gasps> Trundle, Mr. Zoro. No, you're kidding me. I still have Conqueror, so I want to go in here before it runs out. Beautiful. That's such a shame Fizz didn't die, bro. Oh well. Once again, though, he's in a pretty shitty spot because look at how big this wave is. And the best thing from Drew is going to be recall. Is he going to recall? No, because he's greedy, just like he was before. Boom. Trundle is so kind that he just takes the aggro and uh, failed path and gets him killed. That is unfortunate. Oh well. A little bit risky to go for this wave again, but fuck it. Ah, you see what I mean? Maybe I beat him though, since he doesn't have cooldowns now. Yeah, I beat him. Boom. Alright, I missed a lot of CS for that, for shoving it and then having to leave and go do Luna instead, but... It's enough... Uh, not enough to make up for the kill that I just got. Awesome. You can see Conqueror is just really good for these early fights. The Assassin runes mainly just help later on once you actually have one-shot potential. Um, we're going for a Ravenous Hydra Rush. Let's do this. I don't think it's a big deal to finish Tiamat at the moment. So I just want to stack as much AD as possible instead. Oh, I, I put a point in Q at one point. I don't think I did that on purpose. Uh, I can try and get level 6 here and then try and help there. Nah, it's already over. It's over. Well, I'm going to be finishing Robin Hydra soon anyway. Uh, I guess two points in W is fine. We can test it at least. Then we'll see if it's actually one-shotting waves or not. And if it's not, well, learned a lesson. I want that plating, actually. What the hell is this guy doing here? Hmm... So close, actually. Can't actually really dive him. Hello! No way! Need to get out of here. Okay, we're good. Oh, this guy's already here. Fuck! I'm dead now. Oh, that blows. At least we did some damage before we died. I thought it would be more like back here. My bad, I had no vision there. Yeah, and I wanted to have Raven aside your bottom in my next base. That's not gonna happen. At least we got the plating, though. So now Fizz is making the same mistake that I said that I would not do, right? Which is trying to shove in in a situation where I know if the enemy jungler shows up. What the fuck are you doing? Stop. What the hell? 
where if the enemy jungler shows up, then I'm zoned off the wave, and then I'm left with a really bad wave state. Except instead of being left with a really bad wave state, there's instead... Get Strundle pushing the wave into him. I don't know what the fuck is up with the Strundle. He's clearly trolling for some reason. Yeah, big shot down to me at least. Could maybe dive him on the next kill. What if I keep my conquer stacks up? Perfect. Should be able to kill him now. Even his ult, is it enough to save him? Oh, it is for now. Come on. Come on. He should be dead now. Beautiful, okay. So many people in my lane, man. This Jax, the Mordekaiser, the Nautilus. They just keep coming. Um, yeah, They don't stop coming, they just don't stop coming. I should find a safer spot to recall, actually. There we go. <clears throat> okay, I can now TP bot lane. If I want to. I'll just TP mid though. He should be dead here, maybe? Maybe not. He does a bolt. Oh, hello. Oh, my bad. I could have actually killed him. Actually, I still can. He fucked that up. Harder than I fucked it up. Okay, the answer... Well, wasn't quite one-shotting those costers, but I mean, I cleared the way fast enough. I guess Q seems fine. Don't know. Close enough. Maybe if you are against a ranged matchup, you would want the three points more. So you can actually one shot the costas without having to go into melee range of them. Actually, heal off the raptors now is crazy. Hopefully, Trundle didn't notice me farming that because he already seems to be mad enough to troll me for some reason. <laughs> okay, now Nun is actually tanky. He wasn't before. This Mordekaiser needs to be careful. I'm not going to bother chasing. Just gonna stay in lane and push these planings. Either that or just go bot. Oh, okay, that's satisfactory. We're gonna go bot. Oh, never mind. Not worth going bot just for Nautilus. If I had enough AD, I'd be able to one-shot this anyway, but still, that's only because of the 7 kills, so up to you whether you want to put 3 points or 2 points in W. Definitely is not mandatory to put 3 points, though. That's for sure. Oh, boy. Let's go defend against that, and maybe get ourselves some kill in the process. Oh, shit. Come on. Oh, come on. I didn't get to reset my conquer stacks because of that. See, we do the manual deactivation of R with the actual R click instead of autoing him. Because that means we just get the passive faster and more smoothly. In case we do were to do, like, auto to deactivate the R and then we run out of range for the next auto, you know? That'd be really awkward. That should be fine. <laughs> but how long do you think they're gonna chase? He's still chasing! <laughs> now we're gonna get the Black Cleaver. You can do Dustblade as well. It just seems like Black Cleaver is better on the... Um, like, according to stats, at least, it's both most co both most common and also highest win rate to Black Cleaver second on mid lane. I'm guessing that's mostly because since you're actually, actually, you know, leaning against someone, uh, the beefiness from Black Cleaver matters a whole lot more, as opposed to jungle, where you're not really dueling anyone, you're just popping out of a brush and trying to one-shot someone, so damage matters more. 
Black flavor seems like it'll make us a better duelist. Oh right, I'm not the jungler. I wouldn't have I wouldn't have gone for that. Well, I suppose it was fine to go for the wolves there, but gotta consider as well what'll make Chundle mad. <laughs> Nice, scared him off. Pussy. Your okay, we got three. Wait, what? I have a blue trinket. Nice one. Probably won't be able to get... No, no, but we'll see. Ah, damn it. Somebody else took the aggro, but it was a bait. All good. Alright, I'm gonna base. And then maybe I can TP top. Nah, it's gonna be too late. Definitely can't dual jacks without my ult either. We can just gank up now, though. Gotta miss the moment speed from the blue pet. Nice. Rush the bot now as well. Hmm, he's running. Found him. He's trying to recall at the back. Let's finish this quickly. Found him! God, that was so tight! <laughs> I knew the timing would work out. He must be so pissed. 99 times out of 100, the Talon would not have killed him there. But when I'm the Talon, he dies. And my accidental blue drink, kick on me that kill too. Otherwise, I would have had no idea who was there. I got base already. <coughs> Okay, that was, I mean, that was nice of the blue trinket, but as a whole, I think red trinket will be better. Got him. I was hoping that would one-shot him, but I didn't think it would. Bro, come on, he did my entire HP bar. <laughs> and the time it took me to land one out on him. Oh god. I could be very much in trouble here. I gotta flash through? Okay. Looks like I'll be fine. Why do I have a pink here? Wait, this was from ages ago. This is from when I was lost giving chased here. <laughs> Alright, I got TP. I guess I want to get there fast. Hello, Fizz. Actually, maybe Cerildas will be better here. Or I could just do Edge of Night. Or this, Axe Mark. 
I think I'll try Exum Arc. Yeah, the mash. Thank the for her. Not intentionally, but I don't mind doing it. I think we can go straight for Jax here. God, so annoying not being able to tell where the fuck somebody went. I guess he went backwards. Which I also could have caught him if I had that information. Maybe Blue Trinket is good on Talon. Oh, my entire team dead. 14 seconds before Baron. Let's try and get this. Well, come on. Make a path upwards. Okay, they're just pushing. I don't know how much I can, def how much defending I can do on, like, by myself anyway. So I think I'll just push top and then TP mid whenever I think I'm ready to defend with my team. The Herald is nearly dead already. Get the Herald. Oh damn, it did damage. Whoa, what the hell? That should be fine though. Oh. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> what? No way. Wow, okay. No way, my dust play just cancelled out the Nautil Assault. I did not plan that. Just take away some camps before I leave. Only Q because it costs less mana and I'm low on mana. Who's well, also spawning? I'm not gonna have mana for it if I use all of these Qs though. I think I'll just recall now. I don't mind to kill off a loss either. Switch back to Blue Trinket. We'll see. We'll see what it does for me. No point selling Doran's Blade yet either. <clears throat> oh, the enemy stole her blue. That's why it's gone. Somebody should check out the Baron, by the way. I can split, but. I need to know when I should be TPing in, and my team needs to be ready to also fight with me if I TP in. Like, oh god. It was so predictable. I should have just ran to Baron when I realized my team wasn't covering it. Oh well. I don't know if I could have done anything by myself anyway, though. That's just a brain fart for my team as a whole. And maybe a little bit of intentional trolling by Trundle as well. Maybe. Oh, come on, I can't juke it. Whatever, I just ignore Tron. Or. Uh, no, no. Go straight for the turret. Oh, I'm so slowed though. I should have been able to kill him. No, we're good to TP flank here, unfortunately. Except, except apparently now this ward. Come on. Okay, that's one kill. <laughs> nice. Don't know what Fizz was cooking there. I suppose Fellas was like trying to sacrifice himself to let Fizz run in the opposite direction, but... Trundle, you're the jungler, right? You know that, right? Your allegiances mean nothing to me. I wonder if he's blaming me for having him having 99 CS.
Yeah, TP is so good right now, actually. I can't believe it's got a 240 second cooldown only. It's like the fucking heal cooldown, and it's a much more powerful summoner. Oh, I'm actually full build already. Didn't realize. Oh, wait, right, I didn't need the ult because I had the split keeping me safe. <laughs> Dude, I'm just so strong. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, Jax. Damn. Trying to lose at that, apparently. Yikes, that's not good. Alright, how could I play that better? Besides, obviously, just entirely wasting my ultimate. The thing is, it's kind of complicated with the Jax, because if he just holds his E like he was, there's never a time where I can just Q in. And if I can't Q in, then all I can do is harass with W, which is not like an effective way to team fight Or fight at all. So, did I even manage to park more passive there? No, I don't think so. I think he activated E in time. Oh, somebody did flash for me there, right? Actually, I can tell. Maybe Fizz? No, why would Fizz flash though? Maybe Trundle? Yeah, it was Trundle, okay. And I was hoping that I could flash backwards. And then wait out the Jaxi, and then that would be enough to go in and kill them, but... No, Jax could just reach him with a Q anyway, so I get stunned, and then I get one shot during the stun. Rough. Would've been a whole lot better though if, like I said, I didn't waste my ult. Because I'm not entirely used to playing with this Dustblade. <clears throat> I may very well be dead here, actually. Unless... I'm fine. Cool. <laughs> Holy crap. Didn't pong my passive, unfortunately. If I could have Vision of Fizz here. <laughs> no. Might have fucked up now. Got him. Come on. Okay, I live. I got TP up. Guess I needed to like escape or something. Can walk here even instead of like running to base just to waste more of their time potential and even kill somebody because I'm about to get ult. Can try and flank a Felios. Does he know? God. Oh, okay, they definitely knew. Well, he's dead. <laughs> oh my god, my damage is so funny. Alright, I like the I like the XM mark. It's reducing well, only four seconds, but still. Ultimate cooldown just feels extremely low. Four seconds could easily be the difference, and it, like in that last fight with, against the uh, Jax who managed to queue onto me after I flashed away from him, my ultimate was on an 8 second cooldown, so... All good. Hmm, but there is actually pretty decent poke now. It's also keeping my Conqueror stacked, that's crazy. I just- ooh, if that landed, I would have had a fully stacked Conqueror just from spamming W. It only works when I got blue buff though, because otherwise it's too much mana for the value that it provides. But when you have blue and mana isn't a concern, that's crazy effective. just zoned out of the fight, I guess. Oh, wait, 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 I'm blind. What? Where did Jax come from? Oh, Mordecai's are old, right? Oh, man, I was not paying attention. 
Oh, so the reason why Jax appeared to... Appeared to, like, well, appear out of thin air is because he did appear out of thin air. That makes sense. I guess. No, 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 he actually just walked up. No, I'm just, I'm actually blind. He did just walk up. <laughs> what? My bad. It was just barely off my screen. Could I not see him on the map? I should have been able to see him at the start, but then... I don't know if I was even paying attention to the map. Oh, well, my bad. Uh-oh. I don't think Swain wins this. Swain doesn't have ult. Swain, you need to run. You're not gonna auto-attack him to death. <laughs> Alright, I need to split. Nah, they're just gonna rush out, aren't they? I'm not gonna have time to uh, exert pressure. Oh, and this Aphilus is low as fuck. We wanna fight here. I hope he's not healing off of red. No, he's not. Ah, they're already done. This blows, bro. Oh! He was so close to dying there. <gasps> no, I better than Marikaza to waste his flash. But where's the team, man? What the hell? Oh, no way. You're kidding me. I did not expect that to kill someone. <laughs> that is insane. Let's get the strike so they don't get soul, please. I can melt back up now, actually. Maybe I can... She's a kill here. I think Aphilus is coming the other way. Yep, got him. Come on, if I get- Ah, oh, if my dash didn't last so long. Come on. Sad. No, you're kidding. Why is he- Oh, he's got Ghost. Did we get the Drake at least? We did, thank god. That is such a series of unfortunate events, though. Come on, there we go. Okay, we got him eventually. Damn, that was rough. I feel like probably the best thing for me instead of Xmark right now that's probably gonna be more I probably bit off a bit more than I could chew here. Yep, <laughs> my bad. More will be nice though for that you can see. Oh no. Damn, if only I managed to deal damage to Fizz before I died. Oh it doesn't matter, okay, he still dies. Cool. Damn, I'm gonna miss this X mark, but it needs to go. Hmm. Potentially Merc tries instead of onions are also going to be better, I think. Yeah. We got plenty of ability haste now as it is. It does actually scale, like, fall off to an extent. I know people say that it doesn't, but I mean, the proof is just in the fact that in Earth, for example, where they made it so you can actually, um, like, build more ability haste. There's a terrible win rate for almost every ability haste item on Earth, which just tells you that the... There is a point, at least, where there's diminishing returns on ability haste. Come on, can I ult? Okay. No! I'm out of vision. Oh my god, okay. Okay, I think the Maw and the Merc just paid off hard there. This is around, but be able to keep pushing here. This might be good enough to end, maybe. Maybe. 
well, not end, but make some progress at least. Because we keep, like, winning fights when all our waves are just so far away from any turret that I can't, like, TP onto anything to get a turret. There's a chance I might die to Fizz while I keep pushing as well, by the way, but I've got ult up now, so maybe not. Okay, we see Fizz. Should be a friend have I hope. Nice one. No, what the hell is that, bro? I gotta leave him. I can't risk dying with him. Maybe we can kill Fizz, though. Oh, come on. I might actually die here? No, we're good. Barely. I'm almost four seconds off cooldown. I need the base and maybe TP back in. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Nothing to TP to now, unless... This is kind of risky. I don't know where the rest of their team is, but... Okay, I can get a guaranteed kill on the fellas here at least. Oh, I didn't time that perfectly, actually. I needed to get my passive sooner, which might have saved me. Maybe not. I'm not sure. Did not expect them to have stopwatch up, though. My bad. And Gale Force. See, did they have Gale Force as well, or was it Flash? Yeah, I mean, that dude beat, beat Mordekaiser with everything up, didn't he? Okay, it was Flash. Um, actually, was it the W timing that I messed up, or did he just... Yeah, wait, did I, wait, did I actually proc my passive on him? Oh, I did, I did, okay, so there was nothing better that I could do then, I don't think. I got TP up for this fight anyway, um... We can get there in time. Again, I'd rather not let them have a soul if possible. There's one ward I can go to. One ward. Fuck, it's gonna be too late, isn't it? Yeah, far too late. God damn it. That sucks. <clears throat> We're gonna try and do Baron now. And there's no pushed waves, I can't like TP onto the lane to pressure it immediately. This is so annoying. I don't know why the waves are just never pushed. You would, I would, you would think I was, I was bound to have gotten lucky by some point, but no, I really need to push towards us, not them. Ah, I should have done that better, my bad. You yeah, know, I definitely... I, mm, actually, it is Nunu, so I don't know, but generally it's telling you to have a decent chance of dealing a burn if you time the auto Kyoto right. Okay, 1600 HP may be hard to accomplish, but it should have been close to the burn to try and deal damage. Oh, and two people died as well. What? Why did they die? Bro, I'm stealing. You don't have to... Oh, you don't have to follow up. I'm not team fighting. Oh, no. <laughs> don't know how many guys have died, though. Uh, I guess he ulted Jax at some point. Yeah, he just got caught out before I even went for the steal. Okay, well... <laughs> sad way to end game. It is what it is. We don't have time for any more games for this video, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Later, gamers.